Hey everybody, welcome back to the Frugal Filmmaker Tip of the Month. Today I want to talk about using Social Blade or socialblade.com. It's a website that provides YouTube stats not only for you and your channel, but for any YouTube channel. And I'm going to show you how you can use that information to better your own channel. But first let's look at what Social Blade offers. This is uh, my page right here for the Frugal Filmmaker. You have the country of origin, you have the channel type, you have the uh, date the channel was created, you have the number of videos uploaded, 317 for me, subscribers, and video views. So Social Blade gives me a C plus total. Uh, that's kind of a nebulous grade, but it's there and we'll kind of use that in a minute. But if you scroll down here, you can get the basic information, what you'll be looking for, which is uh, your subscribers change uh, per day and per month, the average, and also average video views for the day and the month. Here I have 48 subscribers per day and 1400 per month. These numbers have kind of plateaued. I was a couple years ago at about 250 per day. I'm not sure what my video views were, but I definitely remember having 250 subscribers per day and that number has since dipped. So that's something I need to improve. But by using Social Blade here, I can actually look at other YouTube channels uh, to see who is doing really well and who I should be following and possibly learning from. The first one is, of course, Film Riot. They started about the same time as YouTube started, a little shortly after that, 2006. They've got about twice as many videos as I do and quite a few more subscribers, 700,000 plus and then 92 million video views, really impressive. Social Blade gives them a B, but if you go down here and look at their averages, they're averaging 566 subscribers per day. That's really good, I wish I had those numbers. 16,000 or almost 17,000 per month, and then 59,000 video views and 1.7 million per month. So it's definitely a channel you should be following, I should be following, learning from them. They're doing really well. They're the number one YouTube channel as far as filmmaking is concerned on YouTube. But let's go to somebody who's a little bit closer to my numbers, and that's Dave Dugdale. He started around uh, the beginning of YouTube also, 2006. He's got 440 videos, 149,000 subscribers, 17 million video views. So I'm a little bit closer to him in numbers. And he's got a C plus just like me from Social Blade. If you go down to his averages, he has 77 subscribers. Remember, I had 48 uh, per day. He's got 77 right now. And then uh, 8,284 video views. So I'm definitely closer to him. But... Uh, He's a channel that has been around for a while and a lot of people watch. I watch it as well. Lots of good information. Let's go to somebody who's doing really well right now. And this is DSLR Guide or Simon Cade based in the UK. His uh, site was only created three years ago. And he's only got 169 videos. Only, I say, it's a lot. And he has 50,000 subscribers plus and 2.1 video views. If you go down here in his monthly numbers, he's doing really well. 229 subscribers per day. That's his average right now. Six uh, 6,800 per month. He has 9,600 video views per day, 288,000 per month. Really good numbers. He's surging. Uh, one interesting thing about Social Blade here I want to point out is that you can get a projection of what your growth is going to be if it maintains its current state. So we can see how Simon's going to do when he's going to hit uh, almost uh, a little over 100,000 in subscribers in nine months. And uh, basically he's going to catch me and surpass me uh, in about eight months or so. So that's one thing you can kind of see here from Social Blaze that gives you those kind of projections, which is one thing I haven't pointed out yet, but that's very handy. You can see how fast you're going to grow if you maintain uh, your current state of growth. Another surging channel is D4 Darius. Uh, if you look at his numbers here, he's only been around for a couple of years and he's almost at 50,000 subscribers. He's only got 63 videos and 1.2 million views, but he is really growing fast. If you go down to his numbers, he's not quite growing as fast as Simon is, but still 146 subscribers per day, 4,300 per month. That's really good. 5,000 views, a little closer to me, he's above me. All these guys are doing better than me, uh, but those are his stats right there. And finally, I just want to point out uh, Indie Mogul right here. Indie Mogul was the number one filmmaking channel on YouTube. Indie Mogul hasn't put out a video in over a year and a half because their funding got pulled. Essentially, their show was canceled. YouTube didn't want to funded anymore. But look at this, they're still getting 232 subscribers per day, 31,000 views, not too shabby. In fact, if you looked at look at their videos right here, how many they have uploaded, they have 1,249 videos. That's twice as many as Film Riot. And they have 855,000 subscribers still, that's more than Film Riot, and over 200 million views. That's about double of Film Riot. And this is a channel that's not even doing anything anymore, it's just sitting there passively 
and it's earning income for YouTube because they own it, but it's not producing any new content. Now going back to my own Social Blade page here, I wanted to point out one more thing, and that is this feature, Similar Channels. Click on that and you get a list of channels, about 30 channels I believe it is. If you look at this list here, you can see they are directly related to you in subscriber numbers. So the ones above you on this list have slightly more subscribers and the ones below you have slightly less. So this will be a really good opportunity or a good place to find collaboration opportunities because if anybody's gonna collaborate with you, it would be these people because they have almost identical subscriber numbers. So this would be a good resource to find people to make uh, videos with and possibly cross pollinate your audiences. This site offers a ton more stuff and information, but those are just the real uh, basic things that you can do to kind of examine other channels as well as your own. Even though YouTube gives you lots of your own analytics, you can always look at other channels and their information through Social Blade, which is very, very helpful because if anybody's doing better than you, I would recommend you definitely pay attention to them and see how they could help you, even if it's just you looking at their site and seeing what they are doing that you might not be. This has been the Frugal Filmmaker Tip of the Month.